Well, the founder and CEO of a local nonprofit is looking for community help in reopening the old Camp Montvale in Blunt County. For decades, it served as a YMCA summer camp for kids. Now, camp Montvale shut down in 2005 and fell into disrepair. Six News reporter Josh Schultz shows us what is going what it is going to take to remake this camp for a new mission. Imagine that this camp used to be filled with children. The playground is now overgrown with weeds. The swimming pool is full of dark, murky water. It needs um, obviously cleaned up. And the mess hall full of dirty pans. I want to see this camp come back to life. Pam Wolf is the one woman who is determined to see that happen. She has renamed the camp Harmony Family Center at Montville. That will use it for adoptive families as a treatment center. They will come to camp basically with their children and work through whatever issues they're experiencing. Most of the children they help come from welfare services. She feels having a place to help them heal and bond with their new families will be key in helping them thrive. This will be the first camp of its kind in the country. Well, eventually what we hope to do is get people to adopt these cabins. Her goal is to get this camp open by fall. To do this, she needs volunteers. There's a lot of yard work. There's lots of trimming. Um, there's some building opportunities. We need a fire pit built. Um, there's so much to do. Some of the biggest needs now include donations of commercial lawnmowers, tractors, gas trimmers, a golf cart, and most important, monetary donations. They are still working on paying for the camp. Wolf says they've already gotten a lot of help in getting this camp back to life. One group, the Tennessee Foster and Adopted Families Organization, has agreed to tear down this old playground and rebuild it. My dream is that a lot of the work will be done. We'll have a new roof on the on the dining hall. The kitchen will be usable and that we'll have lots of families and lots of kids running around the grounds. She hopes to see this dream happen soon. In Blount County, Josh All, 6 News. Now, Wolf also wants to open the camp to the community for weddings and other functions and eventually be self-sustaining. On Memorial Day weekend, she has 30 families coming out to help with the camp. Many of them are former camp counselors. To find out how you can volunteer, visit our website at WATE.com.